Hey, it's Mick. Um, as you can see before you, I have a, what they call a hurricane. Hurricane. This is a self-contained vacuum pump um, inside a four pumps they come here um, this comes from a company called black box very vacuum solutions Inc if you look on the, the internet it will be blackboxvac.com um, it comes completely assembled it comes with a plug this unit is a 220 single phase 30 amps they also have a cyclone that is uh, three pumps and they also have a storm setup that has two pumps uh, this unit here is approximately 380, uh, 380 CFM and it pulls about 9.5 inches so um, I just got it um, so what I'm going to do now is get my table ready my CNC table so I'm showing what I'm, what I'm doing okay so here you are looking at my uh, CNC so the system I had before was on the left hand side well actually at the very back you can see at the very back you can see some key tracks I used to have these laying on the table um, I had multiple ones and in between that I had these which were uh, screwed down so that's the system I've had for a long time. Now with the vacuum, what I what I did was I took off all the tracks and removed the MDF filler pieces. So now what I'm doing now is basically going to machine down to the bottom of the T-track grooves. And how I do that is I uh, obviously I run uh, you can see there just zooming in a little bit so what I do is I write my own program I've gone over this many times before but I'll actually show you it in operation this time because normally I don't run it because normally I don't need to run it so I'm going to go over to the C and uh, go over to my computer and you can see what I do okay hi this is Mick um, at the computer on the right hand side you can see or the right hand side of the screen you can see my webcam on the center of the screen or the yeah the majority of the screen is my wind CNC um, control software for the CNC I'm running a cam master computer it's a 508 5 foot wide 8 foot long ATC automatic tool changer and I'm actually running WinCNC software. Um, here's the file I'm going to run. I've gone over it many times before. Uh, very quickly, line one is this will mill the spoiler board. If you do not want to abort the file now. Line three is a G4. G4 is a dwell. You can basically say like in English, it's like a pause. Um, it will pause forever. You either hit enter to continue, <coughs> sorry, or escape to abort. Uh, line four is also bracketed out, so it's just a comment. It will say lower two to spoiler board before running this. Okay, there's another G4, so you either hit enter or escape, or you wait forever because nothing's going to happen. Line six is on my machine I have a dust collector it's an aftermarket uh, add-on by myself um, so I have the code M50 but that's just me uh, line 7 is absolute mode so the idea up to here is I lower the um, 
since I've already run this before I can show you very quickly so we'll just leave this here so I type in Z0 so as you can see here it's on top of the spoiler board uh, just let me uh, clear this not that I need to but so it says here line 4 lower tool to spoiler board that's what I did uh, dust collection so what will happen when I load it and I'll show you in the minute it will turn off soft limits line 9 it will raise one inch line 10 it will come to the x0 y minus 0.5 so it's if you look at my mouse here it'll go to the front left hand corner but it's going to come minus 0.5 towards me towards the camera I can't go left anymore because obviously I'd hit the tool racks so as long as I can run down the side because don't forget with writing your own files the center of the bit is zero so I'm going to hang over the edge I'm actually using a two inch diameter bit so I'm going to hang over the edge um, one inch I could have actually just gone x0 y0 on the corner here but eh, I don't know I didn't so that's that then it sets the spindle speed at 18,000 turns the spindle on here's a G4 D4 line 13 so it's the same as above here on line 5 is a G4 this line 13 means I don't have to hit enter, I don't have to hit enter on my keyboard it'll pause for four seconds and what that is is it gives the spindle time to get up to speed um, since I was on the table I lifted up one inch I moved over the corner so now I lower one inch back to the spoiler board I turn my uh, I set on my feed rate while I'm running a thousand inches a minute um, very fast uh, my Z feed rate is 30 next I get a G1 is a feed move I lower into the spoiler board at 20 thousandths of an inch that's why I'm running so fast I set my local limits so at 20 thousandths I'm into the spoiler board then I set my zero then the L92 saves my zero that's why if you look here I actually have a green box on zero and the reason why is I can just lower the bit um, type Z0, lower the bit to the spoiler board, run the file, lower the bit to the spoiler board, run the file. I could probably go deeper, but I don't care. So then it will actually start to run. It will go down Y 100 inches. It will go across X 0.75 inches to the right. Then it will come back down again to Y minus 0.5 and so on. So it's going to go up, across, back across up so now you've seen it I'm going to run the file um, I probably won't run it long um, then I'll pause the camera then when it gets towards the end then I might turn it back on again I'll see it's going to take about I don't know exactly about 10 minutes to run the file so you see on the screen here that my router bit is on the table I'm going to close this come over to WinCNC file open here is my file click on that click on open click on the little eyeball so you can see with the red dot is where the spindle is it's going to come down the corner um, well actually it's on the table so as we've gone over it's going to lift up one inch it'll come over to the corner uh, the spindle is going to turn on and you can see all this here because the spindle is off now so you'll see this will go red so the spindle will come on so it's going to come down it's going to lift up come to the corner spindle is going to turn on it's going to wait four seconds uh, it will lower 20 thousands then off it goes um, so I'm going to start the program all I have to do is it's loaded up here on the left all I have to do is push enter so uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching bye 
So it's asking me now because I did the G4. So it's telling me to push enter, lower the tool to the bit before I uh, before I run the file, which I said, push enter. Off we go. Dust collection on. Spindle on. 18 thousandths, 1,000 inches per minute, and off we go. So, you can see on the screen, it took 10 minutes and 39 seconds. So, okay, thanks, bye.